Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and this video I'm going to show you how you can use timeline to show your dialogue with that animation that I did show you how you can create in the last video. So whenever we click on this button, this dialogue will be shown by this cool animation in here. And now we want to do it with timeline. So without any further ado, let's begin. So you remember from last video, whenever they click on this button in here, we will uh, show the dialogue. But before we do it with timelines, I want to create an script to make it easy for us to show that dialogue. So for that, let's just go to a script, create a new script. Let's just call it SCR dialogue. And the name of the function that I want to use, I want to say show dialogue. And for the first input, I want to I want to put the text in here. And I want to say the my text, okay. And for the second input, I want to put the time my time. So with this, we can show the dialogue with the with our text and with the time that we wanted this dialogue to stay on the screen. So now that we have this function, let's go up and cut this line of code on left press and just paste it in here. Let's indent, indent it by hitting the tab. And now instead of this text, we can say, we can copy and paste this instead of this save my text and replace these two in here because we we want to change the time that we want a dialogue to stay on the screen so we use this my time in here and replace it with this replace two with this my time and now if we go to this left wrist and say show dialogue the text i want to say my new dialogue and for the time i want to say stay five seconds in here and now when we run it and when we click on this it will show up with this animation and stay five seconds and after five seconds it will disappear like this so now that we have this function we can use timeline to show it not just a button so let's just delete this button because we don't want to use it and we want to use timeline. Why we should use timeline? Let's say you have this game and um, at the, uh, let's say, uh, at the start of the game, we want to tell the player how they can move the camera or we want to tell them something what they should do, uh, like tutorial or whatever. So for that, let's just create a timeline. Let's collapse this. You can see that the timeline uh, is here. And if you right click on it, you can create a new timeline. And I want to name it TL Dialogue or whatever name you want to put in here. And for this, I want to add a moment in here. And I want to say um, after 10 steps, this moment is in a step but we want to use second so i want to say after 10 seconds show the dialogue like this show dialogue with this text trigger from line and the the time that i want this dialogue to stay let's say five seconds and that's it for this so now that we have this timeline here, we should um, attach it to any object. So for that, let's just use um, this object OBG dialogue. Okay. So for that, we can go here and say timeline index is equal TL dialogue, the timeline that we use. So after that, because we want it to be in second, we want uh, we should change the speed. So we say timeline speed is equal one divided by room speed. So this way, when you do that and you put 10 in here for the moment, this 10 will be in second, not a step. So after 10 seconds, it showed the dialogue and it stay up until five seconds and after five seconds it will disappear now that we set this uh, timeline speed we can say timeline running equal true so it will run so now that we done this we can run our game and you can see it it will stay until 10 seconds 
and after 10 seconds it will show the dog like automatically so let's wait after yeah after 10 seconds it show it and after five seconds it will disappear so that's how easy you can show the dialogue with animation in timelines thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button thank you very much for watching bye